Hey man, it's the ISO guy sensei, the realest nigga, or the greatest 2K player in existence. Listen up, man. I am going to be showing y'all the best two-way slashing playmaker in NBA 2K21, okay? Last year, my first build was a two-way slashing playmaker, despite what y'all, but it was just called a two-way pass first point. It was not a sharp lock it was a play lock i messed with it and all that it was my first build and i used it all year i dropped off plenty of comp pro-am players plenty of comp stage players locked them up while they using screens all that with only 20 defensive badges right i'm going to show you all the best two-way slashing playmaker to make and um a variation all depending on how it suits your style so make sure y'all watch this full video Subscribe if you new. 300k on the way. Turn on post notice. Like the vid if you're making a two-way slash and playmaker in NBA 2K21. Now let's get into it. I promise you, this is the best one. No one else got this on the tube. This is the best one. So we're gonna go with this pie chart right here. Now you aren't gonna go with this pie chart because it's gonna be plus nine or plus eight next year. Your speed's already enough. You're gonna go with the bottom one. You know, plus nine. You're gonna have 99 speed. 99 acceleration if it's plus nine you know the plus four attributes and then the gym rat you know they kind of confirmed all that they didn't say about gym rat but you assume now if if the gym rat don't come out then you're gonna come go with this pie chart but you know the devs don't be answering shit if it's exactly like last year which it should be it's this one because once you're 99 i make all my builds for for 99 once you're 99, you're gonna have 99 speed, 99 acceleration. That's good for dribbling, isoing, guarding ball, all that, man. And your your vertical is gonna be high. So that's just, that's very good. Strength don't mean shit. It ain't mean shit. It's it that it, it's cap, bro. <laughs> Maybe this year, I doubt it, but but I doubt it. So here we go. Play slash and playmaker. You're gonna be able to get contact dunks, all that. Now look, you can make them different, right? There's some problems with it that I don't really know too much about, but I, I, I'm going to fill you in, okay? So, I do want more finishing. I could get more if I upgraded my close shot, but I'm like, eh. Now, I could go, go lower on shooting, but they did say lower threes. Lower threes aren't going to be hitting as much. So, if they do that, you know, if you can't shoot with this build, you're not going to be able to run them at points. So, i rather be safe. See, th this is what people got to think, bro. You could make a risk and make this build not be able to shoot and then only use them as a lock and then you might even have to just remake them right so i rather put as much shooting as possible for a first time making him type stuff than to put his badges down to like uh 10 or 8 or whatever 9 8 whatever i rather have as many shooting badges as possible because you don't know how this year for 21 is going to be Y'all like if you agree, right? I think that's the most safe option, right? For playmaking, you know, you could get away with less and all that. And, you know, so I got 19. I could have 20, but I got 19. And I have 19 defensive, right? I could have got more defensive, uh, one more or two more. But this is how I adjusted it. Now, to be honest, bro, I low-key want to do this, right? But th this is just, it's crazy. It's crazy, right? And then do that. But, you know, you can't do that. I mean, you, you can. I, I, I think personally, this would be a better lock. Because last year, the reason people couldn't get stops in the paint is because they don't update, upgrade their interior defense, bro. This is why. And I'm like, bro, you're not playing with me unless you have a build that has upgraded interior defense. But they said they buff paint defense this year. So maybe you could get away without it. Then get three extra badges. So I don't know, bro. It's a risk. If you want to be ultimate safe and rock with 16, you could do this. But you know me, man. This is more of a risk, though. Okay. And I'll put the extra one right here. Um, You could rock lower playmaking. Okay. You could rock lower playmaking. And, uh... Hold on, max this out and do this, you know, but 
you know, just for the sake of just trying to replicate the build exactly, you know, just, just, I don't know. This could be the best version. This most likely would, will still be a strong version. This could be the best version. This is how we're going to build the two way slash and playmaker, right? This is how we're going to do it. I don't care. We need as much finishing as possible because you're going to be trying to get contact dunks finish at a high clip. You know, you're going to need contact finisher, relentless finisher, slithery, and then maybe a little bit of fancy. You need eight. If, if you're trying to play it like that, you, you can't go with six, right? So this is how we're ultimately going to do it. I do want 20 or 19 playmaking. I could have that, but man, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a rocket like this, my boy. I'm a, I'm a rocket like this. You still gonna have Hall of Fame playmaking and Hall of Fame defensive. I'm a rocket like this, bro. Y'all, y'all, y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. We're gonna go burly. Always go burly on all your builds. Type in the comments, burly gang, if you, you know, you fuck, you fucking with your butt, you know. So we're going to make him 6'5, correct? You know, you got the plus one, all that. Wait, let, 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 let's see. Let's see if this weight do something. Nah. We're not going to make him lowest weight. We're going to make him 176. As you can see, stays the exact same. So we're going to make him 176. Wingspan. Now, I already told you all about the shooting stuff, right? We don't know if you can um, shoot with a low three, right? So, I mean, if you want to make him to where you know less defensive but you want to make sure he can shoot you could do this right but nah we want the contact dunks because it's plus four you know 82 83 84 85 that's the elite contacts um the small i think is 84 so we're gonna go max wingspan my boy and um yeah that's why i wanted the 11 shooting badges and yeah bro max wingspan you can play great d all that i remember last year i had max wingspan lowest weight i didn't even upgrade my interior bro and i was destroying other builds bro like that were the paint beast builds i don't know like i could handle them down low with a 6-6 six, six play lock bro i don't know but yeah i i'd rock with this man so we got a speed boosting play lock contact dunks Hall of Fame defense, Hall of Fame playmaking. Amen. Amen. And look, lock takeover, slash and takeover, playmaker takeover, shot creator takeover. God damn, we got shot creator takeover. <laughs> Hold on. So look, now the point of this build, right? The point, the most annoying thing about the two way slash and playmakers was their ability to finish, correct? So with knowing that, like if with knowing that you're going to want to go slasher, I'm going to go slasher with this build, even though, you know, I might I kind of want low key want to go playmaking lock could be more compy, you know, but um, well, maybe even not, bro. But, uh, you know, they, they, they saying they nerf hop steps, they buff paint defense. You gonna want to try to find a way around that, man. And you unlock contact dunks with your takeover. You probably gonna want a lot of contact dunks, right? If you're making a build for contact dunks, I would say always pick slasher, right? But um, who knows if you could get away without even slasher takeover and get contact dunks? You know that means you would pick like playmaking or something, or you know. But I'm personally gonna pick slasher. Y'all let me know what takeover y'all pick, and then voila, we got the two way slasher, my boy. You know, John Wall, Russell Westbrook, Baron Davis. You know, you could rock something like this for the finishing or maybe maybe something like this for the finishing. The fancy footwork still OP and you don't need relentless to get contacts or you could be something like this. You don't really know till the game is done. I'm personally personally. I try this first. Um, to see if you can get a more well, actually nah. personally I tried this contacts gonna have to be on gold since you're gonna be trying to get contact dunks and stuff I tried this first personally see how fancy footwork works if it don't work like that I try this 
and if you can i'll try to see if i can get away with silver and do something like this but yeah um yeah y'all let me know what finishing badges y'all would rock on this build you know you could rock something like this or maybe like this who knows how good volume shooter is you're not gonna be shooting od a lot i mean i guess i guess man you you could rock it on silver you're not really gonna be shooting contested because you know people are gonna be playing off you so you could do something like this it's all up to you bro you know you could do something like this because i think after 13 or 11 or 14 i don't really remember the points and then after you slashing a lot, they're going to start leaving you open, you know, and then your clutch shooter active and they don't even know, you know, it's, 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 it's all up to you, my boy. But yeah, ain't no quick draw. So you low key got like, you know, fifteen shooting badges. <clears throat> For the playmaker, you could rock something like this. I do want more playmaking badges, man. I mean, so basically, you have enough badges where you can have one of the ankle breaking badges. We don't know which one's the most powerful tight handle, space creator, or ankle breaker. You know, we don't know if unpluckable works. If it doesn't work, you know, you're gonna break it down like this. And you can put some on bailout. If you're more of a bailout cheeser, you know, you slash, pass out, then you'd have to rock it like this. Or maybe ankle breakers still work good at, uh, silver so you could rock it like this you feel me and um we not rocking floor general or diamond this year i'm kidding you know you put it like that you know something like that you know you you work with what you got my boy but um all in all you get the job done with this uh you get the job done with this my boy to be honest well, we have to test the badges, man. You don't, you don't really know how it's gonna work. You got 19 badges. You know you could rock something like this. Who knows if pick dodger works? Last year you needed to at least have it on silver to get not, not get knocked on the ground every every damn play. Rim protector, Hall of Fame, especially since you don't got a uh, high interior D. But who knows if they buffed it? Then you know you could rock something like this. Who knows if these activate animations? If you need. You only need bronze chase down or bronze interceptor. Who knows if, you know, they probably nerfed intimidator. So, you know, you rocking on silver. Who knows? Pick bucket. You don't know. So, I mean, just overall, you can make it like this. And you you be fine, bro. To be honest, man. But, hey, man, that's the end of the video. Y'all let me know what y'all think about my two-way slashing playmaker. And the two-way slashing. But, yeah, make sure y'all turn on post notifications. Like the video. Subscribe if you know. 300K on the way, my boy. Go watch all my other past build videos, and I'm out this hole, bro.